On the short list of MCU villains, uh, Killmonger, Thanos, and Loki are widely regarded as being the best, with real motivation. But are they, though? I mean, Loki is the god of mischief, and Thanos decided that he would have the population of the universe instead of just double its resources, which he had the power to do. Um, and Killmonger is technically still a CIA agent that was sent to destabilize an independent and prosperous African state for its resources while pretending to be a revolutionary. So, but Mysterio? Mysterio is a damn good villain. Him and Vulture so far have been incredible villains with the most tangible of motivations, and they're both Spider-Man characters. Spider-Man Far From Home expands Peter Parker's world and is an outstanding follow-up to Avengers Endgame, to Homecoming, and probably one of the best Spider-Man films ever made. Spoilers follow, so be forewarned. I'm Dan Umphen, and this is the Doomcast. Check the Steve's daily and get money like Frank Lucas in the 80s, raised in the era. Far From Home addresses the blip in a perfect and very discreet way in a morning news student program that features Betty Brandt. Now, clearly anybody who blipped is now five years behind their other peers, which means that everything in the MCU is firmly in 2023 and beyond. Tony Stark is clearly revered and near cult figure, and people clearly know about the sacrifices that he made in Avengers Endgame. So when Tony leaves the Edith frames to Peter, it's certainly a big deal. Jake Gyllenhaal is perfect as Mysterio, as perfect an on-screen adaptation as you can expect from the character or want. He shows up as an international hero, battling an interdimensional threat in Mexico, leading Peter around Europe, along with the rest of S.H.I.E.L.D., building trust, uh, the perfect smoke and mirrors intro. And the idea of it being a full cast of disgruntled Stark employees behind this elaborate hoax makes Mysterio that much more... Mm, Mysterio. Even their two showdowns in which Peter has to learn to trust his spider sense or his Peter Tingle uh, over the illusion is fantastic and fluid and psychedelic in exactly the sort of Steve Ditko-esque way that it should be. As much as Homecoming was beyond origin stories, Far From Home is getting into the core of what made Spider-Man an enduring character. A lot of changes for him here, and it should have a lot of changes. Peter has always been one of the few comic characters who's not in a perpetual second act. He's always growing, he's always changing, and there's no third act, but he isn't always a kid. MJ figures out he's Spider-Man, happy and May become an item, Ned and Betty become an item, and then a not a thing anymore. But most importantly, and this is a major spoiler if you've idly watched this far, the post credit sequence in which Peter is publicly outed as Spider-Man and is accused of creating the very disaster that Mysterio created, presumably by the rest of Beck's team, is amazing and very comic book Spider-Man. No less amazing for J. Jonah Jameson, played by J.K. Simmons once again. That got an audible cheer. It's also a distinctly 2019 film in that the enemy and some of Peter's friends are fake news, as it were, a term which was created in 2016 to identify Russian pro-Trump propaganda disguised as actual news and then later co-opted and subsequently used over and over by the Trump administration to attack legitimate journalism and undermine their credibility, repeating it to the point of being almost utterly meaningless. That is what's really nuanced here is that Mysterio as a threat isn't as much about killing people or destroying landmarks or leveling cities. It's intentionally obfuscating objective truth or weaponizing it to his advantage. To, for what? Purely for power. And not money necessarily, but power and ego. That's a brilliantly salient villain. And where Peter goes from here is anyone's guess, but it looks like a considerable chunk of the future of Marvel films is going to take place off-world. We haven't seen so much of Spider-Man being a strictly New York-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man so far, and the friendly part doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon, uh, but maybe as he develops we'll see him grow into a truly amazing and spectacular role in the MCU. Thanks everybody, we'll see you next week.